Hello everyone, welcome to CNA, the daily newspaper analysis. So today is 4th of January. Let's start the analysis of today. This is me and my relevant working experience. If you want to join our WhatsApp as well as our Telegram groups, you can join in via the links given in the description section below. Also, we are on with this Christmas sale offer. So if you want to register for our CSET as well as for our foundation course, you can call us via our number 912751541. This was the content of today. So prioritizing the poor, youth, women and farmers. Trend of inflation in India, demand versus supply. Indian emphasis on this is not the era of war versus the war trends of 23 and relevant problems facts. First news, Kiasile. Prioritizing the poor, youth, women and farmers. So to Kihoga news of the same. Because recently the Prime Minister of India has underscored the imperative of prioritizing the well-being of four groups to four groups poor youth women and farmers and this emphasis reflects a commitment to ensure the dignity and respect for these deprived communities so today if i have to see about the socio-economic diamond dynamics of the highlighted groups in india i can say that india has more than 230 million poor people okay and according to this 2023 Global Multidimensional Poverty Index published by the UNDP and Oxford Poverty and Human Development Initiative, some 415 million Indians escaped poverty between 2005 and 6, as well as in 2019-21. And by this particular graph, I can say that cooking fuel, housing and nutrition are major areas of deprivation, which makes a person poor. Okay, Tabsot, unemployment is one of the scenario. Then also the status of women today is very much of poor under the gender gap report. So in this particular criteria, okay, we have to see that how even the status of farmers are there in our country. So farmers lost standing crops to excess and ultimately rain leading to a significant blow to their incomes. States like Karnataka, Maharashtra and Jharkhand are facing droughts and drought like conditions. And therefore, this NCRB data revealed an increase in death by suicide among those involved in farming. Even if I have to say about the status of the youth, World Bank or data mate, youth unemployment rate is around 23.2%, which is basically higher than the neighboring countries of Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan in around 2022. Whereas even if I see about China, which stood at 13.2%, South Korea 6.9% and Singapore 6.1%. So therefore today, if I have to see about various government programs or various government groups, which are uh, or various permanent schemes, which focus much more towards the initiatives to address these specific groups, you can find a lot. Then again, poor Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, Chandhan Yojana, Manrega, Women of Beti Bachao, Beti Parhao, Ujjwala. Okay, Pradhan Mantri Mahila Shakti, Kendra Scheme. Okay, Iblakwa Se, Nari Shakti Puraskar, Farmers of Kane, PM Kisan, KCC, PM KY. Okay, then Youth of Kane, Yuva, National Skill Development Program, Rastro Yuva, Shashakti Karan Karya Kram Scheme. To a good thing, Ami, at a respective communities, target Kuripilai, Ami, India, Iblak, Azi Schemes, Blak, Solayasu. And that is something which is very essential in this particular context to emancipate every form of people who are under this particular group schedules. Okay, so here can you cut a question and question that is issue to my attempt. Okay, Acha, yet I'm a question to my If you say about MDP, to my game multi dimensional poverty money key was a move comment section. Okay, are you at a quack? How many types of unemployment we can find in our country? Kiman types. Supposedly, I can say about disguise unemployment. Okay, then what kiman donor unemployment ami dekha pao in our country? You can just write in the comment section below. Next, yes, recent trend of inflation in India, demand versus supply. So, yata ki kwa se inflation no gotha kwise. Inflation ki hoi. It is the rate of increase in prices over a given period. Okay, and uh, it reflects the risks, rising cost of living, and however, indicates that. At a specific period of how much inflation can impact and which may ultimately lead to economic disparities of a larger population. Okay, so what is the relevance in today's context? 
ইনফ্লেশন থাকিলে আমি গম পাওঁ প্রাইস স্টেবিলিটির কথা ওকে দেন অলসো এবাউট দ্য রিয়েল ইন্টারেস্ট রেটস ইনকাম রিডিস্ট্রিবিউশন এনকারেজিং ইনভেস্টমেন্টস এই গোটে কথাখিনি আমি গম পাও এবাউট ইন দিস ক্রাইটেরিয়া অফ ইনফ্লেশন তো আজি হোয়াট আর ডিফারেন্ট কজ অফ ইনফ্লেশন ইট মে বি ডিমান্ড পোল ইট মে বি কস্ট পুস ওকে ইট মে বি দ্য ওয়েস প্রাইস ইনফ্লেশন ইট মে বি দ্য মনিটারি ইনফ্লেশন সো বহুত ধরনের ইনফ্লেশন থাকে আমার এন্ড অলসো দেয়ার আর ভেরিয়াস ওয়েস টু মেজার সাচ নাম্বার অফ ইনফ্লেশন ইন আওয়ার কান্ট্রি ওকে সো উই ক্যান সি যে আমরা কলো ইয়াতে গোটে এক্সপ্লেনেশন বিলাক দিয়ে আছে তোমালে জাস্ট পড়ি চালে হলে এবার বস্তু অলরেডি মানে বহুত বার ডিসকাস করেছো ওকে সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য মেথোডোলজি অফ এসেসিং ইনফ্লেশন প্রসেস সো উই ক্যান সি দ্যাট আমার কারণে সিপিআই আছে কনজিউমার প্রাইস ইনডেক্স হোলসেল প্রাইস ইনডেক্স এইবিলাক বস্তু আছে মোক কোয়া যে ইফ আই সে এবাউট দ্য কনজিউমার প্রাইস ইনডেক্স হুজ বেস ইয়ার ইজ টুয়েন্টি টুয়েলভ দুহাজার বারো সন ওকে এই সিপিআই ডাটাটো কোনে বনায় দেয়ার ইজ আ পার্টিকুলার কমিটি উইচ গোজ আ হেড উইথ দিস পার্টিকুলার ডাটা কোনে করে সেটা তোমালে মোক কমেন্ট সেকশনত কোয়া ওকে আর এটা মোক কোব লাগে দ্যাট ইট এসোসিয়েশন উইথ দ্য ডেব্লিউ পি আই ওকে সো ডেব্লিউ পি আই ইফ আই সে ইয়াতেও এই পার্টিকুলার ইয়ারটো রিভাইজ করেছে ফ্রম টু থাউজেন্ড ফোর ফাইভ টু আ রেসপেক্টিভ ইয়ার তো এই কোন ইয়ার লোক রিভাইজ করেছে এই মোক তোমালে কমেন্ট সেকশনত কোয়া ওকে সো ইয়াতে গোটে কথাখিন মানে লিখি থাকো তোমালে এবার চাই লোলে ইউ উইল ডাইরেক্টলি গেট টু নো এবাউট দ্য হোল পার্ট নেক্সট কি আছে ইন্ডিয়াস এম্ফেসিস অন দিস ইজ নট দ্য এরা অফ ওয়ার্ল্ড ভার্সেস ওয়ার ট্রেন মেইনলি ইয়াতে কিহর কথা আছে জিও পলিটিক্যাল চ্যালেঞ্জেস এন্ড অপরচুনিটিজ ফর ইন্ডিয়া ইন দিস কামিং ইয়ার পিরিয়ড সো আজি আমি জানো যে টুডে ইজ দ্য মেজার কনসার্ন এসোসিয়েটেড উইথ ইন্ডিয়া ইজ দ্য রাশিয়া ইউক্রেন ওয়ার the chinese aggression the taliban is engagements and also the neighborhood crisis be it from myanmar be it from pakistan be it from sri lanka be it from maldives in every sense okay so today india has the challenge of handling china india has the challenge to engage with russia india has to project itself as a global leader as a vishwa guru in a stage like G20 and also India has to maintain its relation with the West. But still at the proximity of India, India has got challenges with respect to Sri Lanka, Maldives, Bangladesh, Nepal and also Pakistan because at some point of time India is going for elections by, the, the, by this year which is 2024. So therefore India's domestic effort will need to be bolstered by smart partnership with the others as well as other neighboring countries. So therefore building new friends, India needs to keep the old partners like Russia by its side, engaging with all countries like China and resolving outstanding matters with the small neighbors which have some foreign policies for decades. So that is something which is very important and relevant in the context of India. If I see globally about India and its respective themes associated with its particular policies. So, hey, what is the difference between the new quad and the new quad? What is the difference between the quad and the new quad? What is the difference between the quad and the new quad? Every details in association with this particular policies are given in this particular PDF as well as you can download this PDF from our app. And do attempt this particular question so that you have a clear picture of whatever has been discussed in this particular video. Okay. Next, kiss one problem specs as a key problem specs as a prime minister national relief fund. So it was key actually. So uh, this is basically established entirely with a public contribution and does not get any budgetary support. Okay. So uh, this is invested in various forms with scheduled commercial banks or other agencies. Okay. Our it was generally I mean the key so there. Uh, uh, like it was instituted in 1948 by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru to assist displaced persons from Pakistan. Okay, so ito iti ami recently dekhi su je zikini amar disasters hoy ba zikini amar acid attack survivor approach kore se dalhi high court ok je tahar ok additional compensation lagay from the Prime Minister National Relief Fund highlighting the delays and challenges in accessing their respective grants. To ito kaane ito ziya to news ota se you should know about this thing. Then Karman line so it's a specific national demarcation resembling the concept of international waters okay so the central idea is what uh, it is basically important and it serves a purpose in scientific understanding 
by providing clarity and distinctions to elements that might otherwise merge. So the Karman line is an abstract boundary which is positioned at an altitude of 100 kilometers above sea level. And its primary function is to establish the separation between Earth's atmosphere and the vast expanse of space. Okay, so uh, crossing the common line designates an individual as an astronaut. Okay, so hey, to karne, I mean, the issue that the airspace regulations are karne, I'm a carbon line to both basic important hoi koi as okay. So that is the thing in association with this particular line. Okay, so it was named after aerospace pioneer Theodore von Karman. Okay, so that is the thing associated with this particular line. Okay, 100 kilometers above sea level. So that is all for today from my side. Thank you all.